Greetings. So this is going to be for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And this reading I'm going to be tapping into who is coming toward you for August 2019. I do really hope that it resonates for you and provides you with the insight that you need. But because it is general, it may or may not. So please be sure to check out your rising and your moon placement as well. If anyone is interested in a personal reading or any of my services, including my flower power water, which is a self-love mist spray, and it also attracts love, abundance, and miracles, um, you can check that out on my website, which is on the screen, and it also will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. I appreciate every single one of you. It really does mean a lot. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you hit the subscribe button before you exit out. It will be greatly appreciated. Also, if anyone is interested in daily pick a card readings as well as... Uh, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Daily pick a card readings as well as sell price readings. You can follow me on Instagram at Free Spirit God Insight. My Instagram will be linked in the description box below as well. I tend to post sales on my readings on Instagram about once a week. So if you are interested in that, check it out. So let's see, Taurus. Who is coming towards you? So we have the four of pentacles in reverse, the page of pentacles in the devil card. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Have a lot of um, pentacle energy, so it could be another earth sign of Virgo or a Taurus like yourself. We have the ace of swords, the five of swords, and the magician card here. Could be an Aries, a Gemini, a Virgo. Also could be an air sign, an Aquarius. Gemini Libra. We have the Five of Cups, the Sun card in reverse. So we have Leo and we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so, hmm. I'm gonna move these, rearrange these a little bit. Okay, let's see here. I feel like. I feel like someone is coming toward you with like the intention for this to be the last time for some of you. Um, let's see, why is the devil card here? That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person like, because there's an energy of detaching here, but this person is coming toward you. So I feel like they're coming toward you um, like for a one last time kind of thing or something. It's like an in and out. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Ooh. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone wants something with you, but they may be kind of afraid that they're getting attached or that there's an attachment or a codependency here or there may even be like um a obsessiveness or not knowing how to like feeling like they're they're unable to control the situation and how it's moving so there's like an energy of wanting to be connected to something once again and then letting it go releasing it um okay cool <laughs> let's see why is the magician card here? This could be someone that you have a sexual connection with, um, but things are kind of defensive or something, or just like there's not a lot of um, expression or a lot of openness to the situation, but there's like a strong connection of some sort. And things may be moving really slow with this person or they were moving slow or they just stopped moving completely and this is who is coming toward you. We do have the four of pentacles in reverse so this does indicate that someone let something go. Um, yeah, so let's see. I feel like this person is mentally conflicted. Um, we have the nine of swords, yeah. 
This person is heavily menti mentally conflicted. We have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this person wants clarity of some sort. They want to communicate to, to gain some sort of understanding to know how um, they should move or how they feel like they, they need to move in this situation. Uh-oh. I feel like this is an energy here, Taurus, where you're dealing with someone who feels like when they're dealing with you, they, they lack control. They don't have a lot of control or they're very... Um, they're very unsure, just very confused, mentally conflicted about what the situation is, where it's going, how can they make it work for themselves. I feel like this is someone who um, is connecting with you, but it's very a very independent energy as well. So I feel like this is messing with their independence. Like this is messing with their stability within themselves with the nine of wands here and the nine of swords. Okay, because nine speak about individual like being an individual so I feel like this is someone you're connecting with but at the same time they're very conflicted on what the situation is and I don't think that they like how um, codependent they may be on you or maybe how much time you guys spend together or um, how close things are getting it's making them uncomfortable I feel why is the ace of swords here Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So they feel like something is not working out here. They want to talk about it. We have, yeah, we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So they feel like something isn't working and there's not really a stable ground or a stable understanding as to where things are going or where how things are developing here. Um, and I feel like based off of that, they're unsure within themselves because they're unsure what to do in the situation. So I feel like this person wants to communicate some things um, and wants to hear some things from your end as far as what's going on here, um, how, how are things developing, and maybe even um, voicing some concerns about feeling like this is getting too comfortable or too attached too fast, things like that. Yeah, because we have the Five of Cups here with the Sun card in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. So, let's see. Okay, we have the Judgment card and the Justice card in reverse. You could be done with the Sagittarius or a Leo. But I just feel like there's, there's going to be a decision made between you and this person. I feel like they do want to com communicate and just gain some clarity and insight as to where you are in things and provide insight on where they are. I feel like they feel like the situation is, isn't is working out in the way that things are going. Um, you may even feel this way as well. But I just feel like there's an energy here because this person feels out of control or feels like things are getting out of their control within the situation. They may tell you, like, look, Taurus, you know, the situation isn't going to work for me anymore. And I don't think that it's because of anything that you're doing. I just think that this person doesn't like the energy surrounding this situation for them. We have the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, because I feel like they, they feel like they don't have control over it. We have the chariot card and the two of swords. Yeah. So it's like they're conflicted in which way to go. But I think ultimately they may think, okay, we have the two of cups here. So, <laughs> okay. So I just, I feel like, and it could even be a thing too, Taurus, where this person is coming toward you and they're just like, okay, look, what are we doing? Because I can't keep letting things be all up in the air. I feel like whatever the situation is between you and this person, there's not really a foundation or there's not really a mutual understanding as to where you two want things to go exactly. So this person is a little bit conflicted on what you want and what and how they fit into that and what they can do to make the situation beneficial for them within what you want. So I feel like there's going to be a conversation that's going to be had about where you two are going to go and hold on one second show me this person is disappearing. Thank you. But I feel like there's going to be a discussion had about 
how the situation needs to work out between you and them because it's just not working the way that it is. It's very flowy and open um, and not working for someone in particular or for the both of you. So we have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like this person, more than anything, is kind of wanting to... They're in a, this person is in the energy of trying to figure out what is going to be best for them. I feel like this person, more than anything, just wants a peace of mind from the situation. Um, I feel like, again, this person is heavily conflicted about you and what the situation is and where it may go. I feel like this person, again, is very much um, focused on their stability, on things like that. And I just feel like they have a lot maybe going on in their life as well. And they're just conflicted about where you fit into that, what the situation is between you and them. And they also feel an intense connection. So I feel like that scares them a bit as well. So I feel like more than anything, this person just wants to get out of their head about the situation and they don't want to cause any disappointments or get hurt or hurt you. Um, so let's see what your advice is, Taurus. We're going to pull two cards. What is the advice for the Taurus in regards to this person coming toward them? Okay, so you got, you know what to do. It says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. And we have gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive, okay? So there's something about the situation that you're aware of, Taurus. You know what to do is what they're saying. I feel like something about the situation is a gift in whatever form. I feel like whatever form that is, you will be aware of it. You are aware of it. Um... So yeah, I hope that this provides some insight for you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are interested in any of my services, please check out my website, breespiritgodinsights.com. I will see you all next time and 